Hi, welcome to an NX12 video tutorial. It's a remake of a very old one, now in high resolution and with commentary. And I can also show you one problem which could occur if you use a program like NX, SolidWorks or Solid Edge, which are all para solid based. So let's have fun with NX12. Okay, let's start with the sketch on the YZ plane and confirm. And this profile should look something like this. Okay, there is no possibility to define a center line in the sketch in an X. So if you want to use diameter dimensions, you have to draw a phantom half of this profile. And then you could do diameter dimensions. So I don't want to do this. Let's add dimension here. That would be 60. This one would be 30. That one should be 25. This would be 20. And that distance should be 30. Now let's put this point here onto that sketch origin like this. So the sketch is fully defined. Finish that sketch. Now I want to make a revolve. So go for revolve. Not a single curve, but connected or go for infer which should take them all. Now you have to specify vector. You could use this line here or you could go for the axis. So I want to go for the axis. Then you need that point here and I want to go for 360 degrees and confirm. Now I need another sketch on the same plane. Let's try to select it, yes, and confirm. And I could hide that sketch. And the next sketch should look something like this. Okay, add dimensions. This would be Fifteen, that distance should be twenty, this distance sixty, and that one here fifteen. Then add one constraint here from the sketch origin to that point here and make it coincident. Finish that sketch. Let's make another revolve, but let's go for... So select the sketch here. Vector would be again the set axis. Point would be the origin point. Zero, zero, zero. And I want to subtract it and confirm. Let's hide that sketch here and go for another sketch again on the YZ plane. Now it's a rectangle and this would be 30 that distance would be 15. This distance, you could go for a horizontal axis, should be 60. 
now it, let's align that axis and maybe this point or that line and this would be collinear finish that sketch let's make another revolve this would be the sketch vector again the set axis point again zero 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 and again subtract but i want to go for 45 and minus 45 degrees let's take a look looks okay subtract yes and okay now i want to reuse that sketch and make the subtraction over here as well and that's possible in an x so let's go for another revolve use the same sketch go for again the set axis again zero 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 and let's take a look i want to move this over here and this one as well so the values should be 225 and this would be 135 and confirm let's hide this sketch as well now i want to point out or i want to emphasize the order in which you do these revolves is quite important if i would suppress uh, that revolve this one then i should get an error message let's uh, yeah, just suppress it and you should get an error message see that will not work why because this is parasolid based and if you do that revolve and you would do the revolve on the other side even with a new sketch you would get a line here or a contact which is just a line between two removed features so that's kind of strange but that's a parasolid problem that's because that part here would contact the mirrored part you could not even mirror it because this is the only contact between those two features and that gives you an error message because it's a parasolid program so let's activate this one and it will work now i need an extrude here so let's go for a sketch on the xy plane confirm so turned around but doesn't really matter i need a rectangle which is 8 by 18 not 48 but 18 like this and then put that midpoint onto that sketch origin coincident finish that sketch now it's on this side take care and i need an extrude with that sketch here and it should be subtracted and it should go up to until next until selected or through all let's go to until selected that would be the surface here so that doesn't work so you have to go for until extended that would extend that surface and it would completely limit that extrusion and confirm nice let's do the chamfers these are symmetric yes two millimeter yes 
select those edges like this and confirm. There are many ways to do that hole. I want to do it with a point and the hole tool. So how to get that point? I will go for a point here and the coordinates of that point would be, let's take a look, not this one, but um, third point. Let's go for x should be minus 25, y should be 12, and z would be, no, not y is not 12, y is 0, sorry, and z would be 12. No offset option, and let's confirm, which gives me that point here. So now I want to use the hole tool. So select the point maybe, go for the hole tool, and it goes normal to that selected face, which is okay. It's a general hole, but not a counterboard one, a simple one. Diameter should be eight, and the depth limit should be until next or until selected. If you go for until selected, you can select this surface here and that should work and confirm. And I'm done. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook campaign page. It would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.